Welcome back. We've already talked about the potential that the Cavera presents. We've also touched the issue of policy around that and the byproducts of recycled Cavera. Now, this entrepreneur has picked that and is running with it. It is estimated that the world uses 500 billion to 1 trillion bags in a year. The Cavera is problematic because its rate of decomposition is very low. As we fight to phase it away, some entrepreneurs have found ways to recycle plastics into other products and make money out of it. Julius collects tons of used plastics and resells to factories. So I have been collecting this cover. I've been working with this cover for more than nine years now. We've been collecting uh, this cover from different parts of the country, uh, namely some districts: Hoima, Fort Potro. PG, ginger. He says there's a lot of used plastics that he's able to collect and from this he sees unlimited supply from which he is aching a living. Av av averagely, we've been collecting like uh, six tons a week from different parts of the country. Now, for example, the, the other Kasasio site of the KCC, we've been collecting some caviar from there. Averagely a week, we can collect more than three tons. Then other parts of the country, like ginger, we collect like 10 tons. And other part, parts, um, um, like Fort Potro. He earns based on the collection from other people where he cannot access. Julius and many others bring their collections and sell to factories like this one as raw materials. Approximately, someone can collect a, 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 like 500 kilograms other people collect more than a ton. So we go and weigh each, each individual and we pay him or her. When we are buying uh, from the other sites, we, we buy a 200 shillings per kilo. Then when we come this side, we sell it around 400. He explains how rewarding this job has been. So first of all, the money we've been getting from this, uh, this cover, um, uh, I've got school fees. It has helped me to develop myself. And, uh, okay, totally it has increased my income. Besides collecting the cavera, other entrepreneurs have found a niche in recycling polythene. In this factory, for instance, the cavera goes through a number of stages, creating a usable raw material. When all the cavera is brought in, it is dumped in this place, and it is here where workers take it to the factory. The dirty bags are loaded on the conveyors, leading to the washing areas. At the next level, the polythene is melted, making a thick black sap that looks like crude oil. This thick sap is fed into another machine, which molds out long, thin black plastic strips, which are later chopped down into parrots that can be packed for sale to other factories that need raw materials for plastic products. This recycling plant also makes basins, plastic egg trays and polythene sheets. There have been developments of plastic tanks, crafts. Innovators have found ways of weaving plastic into fabric. The products of recycled plastic are vast and are a great opportunity for an entrepreneur. You do not need much to start with. Just like Julius, you can start by collecting the plastic or polythene 